Okay, so you've nav navigated to smartsheet.com in your Google Chrome browser. Then you click the login button at the top right hand corner and you can log in with your Google account. So click the Google symbol. You may be asked to put in your username and password or you might just be asked to click on your account like I have just done. And when Smartsheet loads, you will see that it has a Gantt chart just like the one we've seen in the lesson. And so just to show you what we've got here, you have gray lines with bold text for the big tasks, for the um, big sections that have then subtasks which are on white lines. You can change the text here just by double clicking on each of the uh, cells, just like in Excel. And so we can put the first task, which is learn about Pringles. Make sure you, your spellings and punctuation are right. Pringles is a proper noun, so you should have a capital P. And then you can then fill in all these tasks um, to match up with the uh, activity that we've just completed in the lesson. The next thing you have to do is then change the dates. Now you can see the template that's set up talks about this task starting in September 2014. We need to make sure that we change that. So today, change the first one here to uh, March the 5th, which is today's date. You can only change the date on white lines. We're going to change the next one to uh, the week afterwards, so the 12th. And then we're going to change the final one to the week after that which is the 19th. Now we're going to come back and review these in a second. So now you have your tasks over this side that start today. The final thing you need to do once you've filled in all of the tasks here and you've changed all the dates is look at the project chart and see which tasks can happen at the same time. So for example, the learning about Pringles, the different uh, subjects where you're going to learn about, learn about Pringles are not, for example, as it says here, going to take a, uh, a week. So you need to reduce the time. It might only be two lessons. So you can reduce the time. You can also then move them around. So you can say that maybe your humanities and uh, Spanish lessons are going to happen on the same day. And so you can say that that's going to happen at the same time. So where, for example, look on this Friday, you have two of the task hats happening. That's basically telling you that those tasks can happen at the same time. Once you've finished all that, you can then perhaps explain, explore this a little bit more and maybe change some colours, add some flags or add a comment. You can play with this template a little bit, but the main thing you have to complete, three things. Get all of the tasks written down here, change all of the dates so they match, and also remember you have to meet the deadline of the 20th of March, so you cannot have this end date past the 20th of March. And finally, move the tasks around on your spreadsheet so on your Gantt chart, sorry, so that the ones that can happen at the same time happen at the same time on the sheet here. When you have finished, you need to go to Sheet Actions up here. You need to then click Export, Export to PDF, click the Export button. All the settings should be fine. You can press OK and then the PDF will generate and will sit down here in your Chrome browser. You can then log into your email and you will be able to email this document by just dragging it into an email that you set up. You can email this document to your teacher, either Mr. Esri or Mr. Booth, so that we can print it out for you and you can stick it in your Pringles Challenge booklet. Good luck.